Welcome to the Control M solution series. This video will demonstrate how to enable SSL on the Control M web server using our own certificate. When we need to enable SSL on the Control M web server using a certificate generated by our organization, the easier way to do it is by importing the certificate in PFX format. By doing this, we don't need to create a key store and import the certificates. That's why the PFX format simplifies this procedure. For this demonstration, I have asked my security team to create a certificate for the Control M web server and to export it in PFX format. This is the file that I have received from my security team. I have also received the password that has been set for this PFX file. If we check the properties of the file, we can see how it has the PFX extension. Our first step will be to copy this file to the Tomcat's conf directory of the Control M web server. Here is the location of the conf directory. So I copy the PFX certificate to this directory. Now we can proceed with the modification of the server.xml file. Here is the file. Open it with a text editor and locate the HTTPS connector. For this case, here is the HTTPS connector. If it is not already there, add it with the parameters that I'm showing here. Here is the port that I will use for the HTTPS interface of the Control M web server. These are the three parameters that we need to modify in order to use the PFX certificate. The key store file parameter contains the path to the PFX certificate file. Since we have already copied the file to the conf directory, we only need to type conf slash and the name of the PFX file. The key store pass parameter contains the password that has been set for the PFX file. This information must be provided by the team that has generated the PFX certificate. In this case, this is my password. We need to type it in clear text. The key store type parameter indicates the type of keystore that we are going to use. For the PFX certificate, we need to type PKCS12, as, as I'm showing in this example. Now that we have configured the HTTPS connector, we can save the file and close it. In order to submit the changes that we have performed in the server.xml file, we need to recycle the web server. So we go to the Configuration Manager, select the web server component, do right-click, Desire State, Recycle. Once the web server is up again, we can access the HTTPS URL of our Control M web server and validate that our certificate is in place. So I open a web browser and type the HTTPS URL. It's important to indicate the port that we configure for the HTTPS connector. In this case, it was the 8443 port. As we can see, the HTTPS interface is available and I can check the certificate that it is using and validate that it has the information of the certificate that my security team has created. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please visit our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you.